and starting a new document. Um, I'm going to grab it from the, the templates area and I'm just going to go with this CAD uh, DWT, sorry, which is a template file. This one here, when you start up, doesn't have as many layers and I've done that on purpose because we don't want to get con too confused at this point in time about all the different things that are going on. <clears throat> you can see that there's only one layer which is actually layer 0, that's by default uh, and when you look at down the bottom here you've got two layout screens both of odd sizes and we're actually just going to delete one of those anyway so I'm going to go over here and say look delete we don't actually need it so that's why I'm removing it and later on we'll set this up but not in this exercise but in another exercise in this one <coughs> we need to work out the sheet size because this is basically to put a template together the sheet size which we're going to use is an A3 sheet and for those of you who don't know one of the easiest ways to find out what size an A3 sheet is is going to Google A3 size E and it should come up with a whole heap of different sizes. I'm just going to choose one off the top here with a lot of different measurements on it. So we're going to have a look at this. And basically this is the one we chose. It's actually quite a good one. Paper sizes. And here it gives you all the different sheet sizes. And also you can see the actual measurements down the side here. And as we can tell from this, an A3 sheet is 420 by 297. By doing that we can actually set up a basic guide and what it does is it gives us the ability now to actually put in a basic template. Now all I'm going to do from here is I've chosen the rectangle tool. When I come in here I need, I'm just going to do this for my own benefit. I'm going to type in 0, tab 0. This gives us a 0, 0 um, point in which this is going to start and from here we're going to have to type in 20, oops, 20 tab by, was it, 297. When we hit enter, you, you see the page go in, but it's actually quite big, so we just need to zoom out so it gives us a better idea of the actual size of the actual A3 sheet. Now, everything we do inside that is what we're going to be using for your template. Now, previously I dropped a list of titles that we're going to use. Um, I'll, and I also do up a rough guide on what it's, it's going to look like. And I'll embed that into the, the presentation so you can actually see what I did. Um, but what I'm going to do now is work inside this to create our uh, template. Again, first, first of all, grab the uh, rectangle box. All I'm going to do is basically guide over the top of where I think it should go. Keep in mind, though, that you need to be aware of the non-printable area. As you know from previous class, when you go to print Oh, sorry, it's not in here, it's on our layout sheet. You can see here a dotted line. That dotted line represents everything outside that area cannot be printed on. So we're going to make sure that when we do this template, it fits inside that dotted line. In doing so, it will make sure that we don't lose any information off to the side. Um, you'll find if you change the printing or the printer, that line will change slightly as well. So you need to keep that in consideration. And we're just going to switch back to model space again. And we're just going to use some rough tools. I'm going to just use the line tool because we only need to keep it simple. And again, this is a guesstimate. I'm going to be putting the bottom of the title across the bottom there. Again, hold down the shift key so it snaps to zero or authors mode. And when you select it, escape 
basically from this area inside here is where we're going to put our titles. Next thing I'm going to put in is just a vertical one. This again is guessing, so let's say I'll put it in here, down about there. Escape to make sure we get out of that. And I'm just going to copy this down the row. Now I know from what we did before, this is our notes area. Now, <clears throat> the next section we're going to be putting in is going to be the where the logo is going to go. And again, we just pick this up, drag it across. It's, again, it's only rough. I'm going to say, look, the logo goes about there. Hold down the control key, which will allow you to actually duplicate the item there. I'm just going to continue down doing that. Now I know that one went there. Next one is going to be our list of so projects and titles name. And the one after that is going to be uh, what is it? Designer check and file and a few other things. That's going to go in there. OK, and the last little bit's just going to be scale, drone, and date. The next thing I'm going to do is put a line that runs throughout the center of this. And again, it's a, gear, a guesstimation. Shift, making sure that we lock it to office and escape. OK. This next one we need to split in half in the centre here, so let's just do that now. Um, again, space gives us the last tool used. Drop that in, shift, escape. Need to do the same thing down here. Shift it across. And the last one, we need three in this section, so we need to really try and divide this into a third, this last little section. And again, I'm only guessing. So it's a matter of just... Um, if you'd like to, you can actually pick that one up. Select it, pick, drag. And... Control paste. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing we'll do in the next lesson is we're going to be putting in the text, putting the logo in. Thanks.